Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World where we do reviews and we try to figure out things that are going on on social media every day because <laughs> it's always somebody somewhere could know. This particular topic of discussion that's trending out, out there in social media world as we like to call it. Um, it's, we're talking about today, the hot topic is going to be about NeNe Leakes, Eva Marcel, and Cynthia Bailey. Yes, all three ladies are trending on social media. And it is stemming from the Gay Pride Parade that was held in New York City. I bet you Ann is just scratching his head, talking about, I can never get these Atlanta housewives to stay focused and to stay on point. Now, my other uh, franchise, House uh, Wives of New York, Potomac, and if we got somewhere else, uh, uh, no, I think we have one in Miami, or maybe they got canceled. Hell, I don't know. But they, they just don't act distinguished or like they got some sense. It's always got to be the black ones that cut up. <laughs> I bet they had to be like, see, then you see what I'm talking about. Y'all don't act right in public. Everybody else is conforming. Everybody else is doing their thing. Everybody else is happy trying to celebrate gay pride and their rights and their understanding and their free will to be loved in society. And we got Nene Leaks up there throwing a wrench in things. I mean, just tell me somebody, please. Did she go to bed black and wake up white? I don't know what is going on. She's sitting up there in New York City knowing they only got one Bravo. One Bravo float. And <laughs> she going to say, no, Cynthia and Eva cannot be on the same float with me. This is me and Marlo's float and the rest of the women. <laughs> But they, them too, they can't come on the float. If they come on the float, then I'm getting off the float. And if I was Andy or I was uh, the producers at the time or the, the person that was getting everybody to coordinate or whatever, I would say, then you get off the boat. Get off the boat. You won't be family. We're going to dock your pay. And then you go home and cry about it, okay? Because you're acting just like a grown kid. A grown old kid, Okay. Now, we say this is Bravo's float. That means the women in New York can be on it. The women in Platomic, or Platoma, Platomic, let me see, Platomic, Platomic, I don't know. Yeah, Platomic, I think it is. They can be on it. And your other co hosts, <laughs> your colleagues, as you like to call them, your co workers, they are have the right to be on this float also. This is not the Nene Leaks Gay Pride Festival or the Gay Float, okay? <laughs> I'm like, Nene, you have gone delirious. I have been on your side. I have called you uh, the person that know how to get the drama started, but now you're just being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous up there on a good day, a popular day for the gay community to be up there celebrating their rights and just loving on everybody, just loving the atmosphere. Just even Wendy Williams was out there. And I'm still trying to figure out why Wendy Williams was out there and striped up in that suit because it just was not flattering. I don't know what she was looking like. A candy cane with stripes or a lollipop, that's what she gave me. I'm like, Wendy, please sit yourself down with them big old glasses. But it seems like she was having a good time. And during her divorce, all the things that she's going through, I hope she is having a good time. Okay? But she should have caught hold of Nene Lee's and pulled her aside. Said, baby, just stop fussing. Have fun. Throw some confetti up in the air. Drink some wine. Chill, baby. That was somebody should have been telling her. But now she's going to group up with the New York uh, housewives. Like, they want her on their team. You are you don't stay in New York. You're not a native. You're, you're not a resident of New York City. Honey, you just visiting Nene. What you doing, girl? You're doing too much. I mean, even Marlo was up there having fun, throwing kisses, throwing confetti, just you know, being her little self. I'm like, now I'm gonna get ready. I'm getting tired of you. They need to get rid of you, Nene. 
because you're doing too much. I mean, Marlo, she can come in, serve up drama on a, a platter, a silver platter, and still be coming out looking like a rose. <laughs> still like she doing stuff. I mean, last season, you was on this Greg kick with all of his issues. And yes, they were his issues, but y'all married. So that should have been your issues too. But you want all your friends, all your co-workers, all your arch enemies, however you want to view them today. You you want to view them as you kicking them to the curb. You kicking rocks at them and stuff. Throwing stones at them. I mean, you were once wanting them on season 11 to hold you down, to be there for you. This, that, and third. Now, Greg, over his counts, everything, la, la, land. Everything is just hucky dory. And you serving up rocks for breakfast. <laughs> I'm saying, come on, now, come on. Start in the middle part of the season. Don't come off with this pettiness and this like, um, you're gonna be a bully or something. I'm like, this look is just not good and it's tiring. It's getting very tiring. Okay. Very, very tiring. Now, we already know, yes, you don't ventured out, did this, that, the third, cashed your Trump check and all, is going, taking it to the bank. But you also missed the season, okay, because you were doing other things and they weren't as lucrative as the Housewives franchise. So this is your bread and butter, honey. That's why you're being able to open up different venues of your swag location, like, Nene, give the women a break. Stop throwing the wrath of God at them. And even you don't even have a um, a tenth of that type of power. Okay? Because if you did, all of us would be surely doomed. All right? But Sandra Rose, she wrote up a very, very good article depicting how Nene was acting at the festival. Now, it was a pretty flow. And you know, everybody like the rainbow colors. We sure did like them in uh, elementary when we were uh, coloring in the coloring books and all the things trying to keep us to stay focused and stay in the lines, not go outside the lines to make our pretty picture. Yes, everybody was doing their thing and Nene was throwing up bricks. Okay, bricks for attitudes. All right, saying, no, nah, this is my boat. You can't get on it. You don't have the right clearance. <laughs> Girl, Nene, what? Portia and uh, Eva got to turn white for they to be accepted or something? I like. I think that blonde hair has gone to your head, honey. And you giving me a uh, um Kim Zodiac tease? Like, do you really want to be Kim Zodiac? Cause shoot, when I was putting pictures side by side, I was like, God done it. You you show sure looking like you want to be. In that race, you do you just sit down. <laughs> you gonna turn our race down and jump, jump shit with the other race. I'm like, girl, go ahead, lighten your skin up till it fall out, child, till it fall off. But getting into this commentary that um, Santa Rose um, newspaper wrote out, or, or columnist, you might want to say. She titled it, uh, it was published July 1st, which is today. She titled it, Nene Leach Tried to Kick Eva Marcel and Cynthia Bailey Out the Bravo, keyword there, Bravo float at New York City Gay Pride Parade. See y'all didn't lie, I'm getting it straight up. <laughs> I'm pouring it real piping hot in your cup, okay? It goes on to say, Nene Leakes left, bought drama to the Gay Pride New York Parade that marked the end of a full month of Gay Pride events in the United States. According to sources, Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars Nene, Eva, Marcel, left, they're showing pictures, so that's where the left or right coming from, Cynthia Bailey Wright and Marlo Hampton attended the parade. And all four were scheduled to ride together on the Bravo float. Nene and Marlo arrived first, followed by Eva and Cynthia. According to multiple sources, Nene spotted Eva, whom she fought with last season, and complained to Andy Cohen and other Bravo execs about Eva and Cynthia riding on the same float with her. 
She was calling right, y'all. She was calling right. After that, Nene woke up white. Went to sleep black, but woke up white. Girl, Nene, calm down. It's not that serious. And that part was not in Sandra Rose's uh, article she wrote out. That was my spin. But moving back, uh, it goes on to say the ex tried to reason with the 51-year-old mom of two, but she insisted she didn't want to ride the float if her co-stars was on it. <laughs> I'm like, temper tantrum? Are we having one, Nene? Are you done lost? Have you lost your mind, girl? Do you really think you are privileged? Then you get off your soap papa and come on back down to earth, honey. Come on back down. But then, that was my commentary, not in this article. Moving back to the article, we have Bravo XX reached a happy compromise with Nene, top left, by telling her she would ride on the float, meaning they were, uh, what do you call it, putting down their big shoes on her. Like, you don't tell us what to do. We already done cut your check, you know, sign your contract, so you will do what we ask you to do, and you would do it politely and nicely. Not in the commentary. That's my own spiel, okay? But that's what they were giving me when they said <laughs> a compromise and that Nene would be, meaning will be. She ain't getting on her float. She going to be on that float. She represents Bravo TV and the Housewives franchise. Yes, you would love it. You would not poke your lip out and you would smile through the whole event. If not, we were fine. We were fine. We were fine. We were fine. <laughs> Just like they find her when she had to uh, have that confrontation with that cameraman going on into that closet. That's why she didn't get a chance to film. She's telling y'all otherwise, but we know the real tea. She got fine. She had to sit down. She had to sit down somewhere and not collect no coins because of that incident. But moving on, goes on to say, Nene top left by telling her she would ride on the float next to Real Housewives of New Jersey stars Melissa Gorga and Teresa <coughs> uh, Guidance, Goods, something. I think she's Italian, so forgive me, Teresa. You know who you are. Who ignored her for most of the parade. Okay, sit down. <laughs> the two ones that she trying to look like and be like ignored her, y'all ignored her, okay? And they probably wasn't doing nothing like out of character. John said, what's she doing over here? She ain't with our um, click, our New York City housewife. She, did she did she get a residence in uh, New York? You know, they particular about that stuff. They're like, uh-uh, you ain't with us. You got to be on the other side with your team because we, we here in New York. And did you get a pass? Did you pay the fine to come on over to us? <laughs> did you pay the fee, Nene? But move it on. They didn't pay her no mind. They didn't pay her no mind. They was out there enjoying themselves. They were like, why she here? Why is she here? I, right. I, right. why is Tina here? <laughs> I just had to get that out, y'all, because it sure looked like they were dissing her. She waves, uh, uh, pushed to the left. I was outside. They didn't want her taking pictures with them because she wasn't a part of their uh, Housewives of New York. She was part of Atlanta. She needed to be with her crew. Okay, and then we all come collectively and take one big photo as the Bravo family. But they're like, Nene, go, go back to your team. Go back to your team. That's the tease that they were giving me with this photo. And y'all can go on SandraRose.com and y'all can see the beautiful pictures of the uh, festivities. And you can see Nene pretty much pouting and, and kind of looking like she's displaced. <laughs> A misplaced, I should say. But going back to the commentary, we go on and it says, even Cynthia happily agreed to ride on the far side of the flow away from Nene. Did y'all get that? Away from Nene. The drama was captured on camera for a future episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, you know, I don't know if they were just doing the mess just because. <laughs> just throw up trouble. Oh, Nene was just really feeling herself all the way. Because she loved that gold hair, honey. And I'm like, sometimes it look good on her and sometimes it don't. But I'm like, what happened to the black flower hair, honey? What happened to that, nay, nay, girl? You know you weren't, blown with, you weren't born with no blonde hair, girl. Stop playing. Stop playing. Trying to look like Kim's over here. But, y'all, that was funny. I, I, I like... I understand. <laughs> Nina, Nina is giving me all kinds of teas. She's giving me low self-esteem. She's giving me little kid syndrome. Uh, 
throwing temper tantrums, want her way. She thinks she the head, HBIC in charge. And no, Nene, no. <laughs> It's above it's above you now, okay? It's not your playing field. You don't own anything in Bravo, okay? You don't sign the checks, baby. They make them out to you, but your name is not on the marquee out there. <laughs> Girl, don't try to get Andy Cohen's seat. No, and any higher. No, you're part of entertainment. They pay you a certain amount to act a certain way, and you deliver on that. That's all. You're a puppet. You're playing into the game of which you signed up for. And stop treating them women like that and behave, Nene. Behave. Oh, Lord, I can't wait to see what they're going to bring us for season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because I got to do another story on Miss Eva. She cutting up, too. Talking about, oh, uh, she got on her Instagram account this morning and going off on people to my she ain't going nowhere she's still with the housewives that are these that are i'm like with well, dog it is it, it's television social media lied on you we were sitting up there taking a picture uh with uh tom john and ricky smiley and he even said you were a part of their team so i'm confused honey are you commuting or what? I, I don't know. <laughs> but it seems like you're doing a little lying, too. But we're going to bring up that story right after I conclude this one. But, y'all, that's all I got. Nene up in New York City cutting a fool over the weekend. Instead of her enjoying herself, giving herself <coughs> plenty of opportunities to, uh, what do you call it, rub elbows with the rich and famous and toot her horn and just be as lovely as she can be. She's up there throwing salt, being salty and pouf mouth, putty pouf mouth, puffy puffy potty mouth. I'm like, Nene, you're giving too much of the wrong ingredients on this little meal we're trying to make, okay? We want you to win, but right now you're just coming off as evil, pretty much. Evil. Little, acting like little... Uh, the the witch of the west, or uh, what do you call it, the wild wild west, or somewhere. Okay, come on back south, honey. Come on back south. Come on back grounded. Root yourself back down like a little tree that's being planted again to grow. Okay, cause you you you're planting waters. You planted some murky waters. You see how they did you when they x you out and canceled Glee. Okay, you thought you were gonna be doing some actor actressing type roles. All right. So really, your big payday. And um, definitely, your milk and butter, it's Real Housewives of Atlanta. So stop being total villain. Make up and then start some mess again if you must. But don't come off like that, girl. The whole cast ain't going to want to work with you. And who you think they going to they look at? They're going to like, well, you're, you're the one. You're the one that definitely is starting stuff. We're paying you more money. But, you know, hey, can you come and bash? give us just as much drama as you do? So, <clears throat> you know, hmm, we might have to cut you. And we'll find somebody else. People are born every day. Suckers are born every day to get up there and just humiliate themselves for the dollar. Honey, you just one in a million. All right, guys, that's all I had. I had to get my chuckle, my kiki, my laugh out because Nene just showing out too much. And it's just looking like a little brat, a little girlish brat running around now. A little girl running around now ain't acting right. Okay, so that's all I had. Stay tuned for some more trending topics on Dale Chanel's 40s World out there in the social media land. Good night.